wonderful day today, and my prayer is that today you start on a very good note, even if you were on a sick bed. May the love of God so overwhelm you. May the favors of the Almighty cover your life entirely, that you feel the presence of God as you move through this day. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are going to read James chapter 2, verses 21 and 22. James 2, verse 21 and verse 22. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac, his son, on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. This thing gets back to the basic statement, faith without works is dead, it's useless. There are some people who somehow have deluded themselves to a point of accepting that faith alone works everything. With faith, everything is perfected. You don't need any form of works at all. God does not require your works. No doubt faith is absolutely important. But faith alone does not complete everything. When Jesus went on the Mount of Transfiguration, the disciples he left behind were not able to heal an epileptic boy. And so the father told Jesus, I brought my son to be healed, and your disciples couldn't heal him. And Jesus immediately healed the boy. When the crowd left, the disciples asked him, Master, why were we not able to do it? He said, if you have faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you ask a mountain to move from here to the other side, it will move. You ask a mountain to move from here to the sea, it will move. Whatever you ask will be done by faith. Then he said, but this type does not go out except by prayer and fasting. What was he saying? Faith alone is not complete. What will perfect your faith works. Don't be among those who condemn works. And don't listen to those who condemn works. Works will not take you to heaven without faith. But the works themselves will prove your faith. As this same chapter of James will say, show me your faith without works which is useless, and I'll show you my faith, which is useful by the works that I do. If you think God has saved you, show proof. In effect, the works show proof of salvation. The works show proof of cleansing. How can you say, I am born again, and you are deep in sin? How can you say, I'm a child of God, and you are the one cursing everybody, having foul language, and everything about you spells the devil. And what you say is, I am born again, in some theory. And why? Because you think you have faith. Most times, the thing we call faith is some mental assumption. You assume that you have faith. But actually, you don't have anything like faith. Faith without works is useless. This is a typical example. Abraham had faith in God. God said, move from your village. He moved. Faith. Move to a place that I'll show you. Didn't tell him what place. He followed. Whatever God said, he did. The fact that he followed God in itself is proof of that faith. Yes, I believe what you have said, so I take this step. And it got to the point of God saying, okay, Abraham, all of these ones you are doing, the things that don't touch you. Take your son, your only son Isaac, sacrifice him. He took him to sacrifice. He proved his faith by his works. If God asked you to sacrifice the best thing that you have, would you do it? If God asked you to give up something that you are so endeared to, the thing that commends itself to you, the thing that makes you happy, and God says, give up. Maybe a relationship, maybe anything at all, resources, whatever it is, even your education, will you do it? We are talking about proving faith by works. If you have no works to show, there is no proof of your faith. That's the bottom line today. 
If your faith is going to have proof, it does by works. Yes, you have faith enough to rebuke whatever devil is in this epileptic boy. But because there is no works to prove the faith, the devil is not going out. Is it a surprise then you have pastors who are praying for the sick and they remain sick? You have things that you are commanding and the thing remains the way it was and nothing is commanded. Faith without works is useless. You make all the noise and nothing will change. True faith requires proof by works. Works are necessary. You don't need works to get salvation. You need works to prove that you have gotten salvation. Your works will prove that you have gotten salvation. The things you stop doing, the things you now actively do, proof that you are now on the side of Christ. You produce works. They show fruit worthy of repentance if you have repented. Faith needs to be proved by the works we do. And I pray that from now on, if you had not been engaged in it, that you will bring forth works to prove your faith at all times. And if you have been engaged in it, to even do it more and more, we can never come to the end of things we can do in this world in respect to proving faith. Produce wonderful works. And one thing is sure, as you produce the works to prove the faith, the faith itself increases. You find stability in God, and God himself is pleased with you, and he adds to you. You grow from faith to faith, from strength to strength, from glory to glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. It's